What's up, everybody? It has been a while. Wanted to go live to see if anyone's out there to uh, <clears throat> show the tanks, uh, the saltwater stuff. Um, even though I haven't been uploading anything, uh, still still doing it. Still got a lot of coral, enjoying it. It's great stuff, really fun. Um, but uh, once we get a couple of people in here, I'll uh, show you guys. What's up, C Sands Aquatic, Andrew Ford? What's going on? Doing well, you guys. Doing well. Uh, like I said, it's been been a while. Haven't done anything and just kind of living life right now. But want to show you guys the corals. Uh, looks like I think we got about three people in on here right now. Um, sorry, I got my allergies. Um, oh, sweet dude, powder brown and a hippo. Never had a hippo. Never had a powder brown. I had powder blue. Um, but I do need to get some tangs actually, um, for the coral tanks, but, um, well, we got four people in here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a peek or we've got five people. Go ahead and we'll flip this around. Let me put the, um, filter on there. So that is a 60 gallon innovative marine tank. Got a insane deal on it. Um, and then built the stand, built the, uh, let me turn the light on for you guys. It's a little bit messy, but built the controller board, uh, and all that stuff like that. Got to try it, testing it. Uh, so this is the newest edition. Uh, you can see here that, uh, that lens is too nice for the camera on the corals. Thanks, man. Yeah. You got to have a lens. It really makes a, really makes a big difference. Um, you know, when you're showing them off, but so we got in this tank here, got some meat corals. We got a couple of acanthophilia. We got actually four of them. That one, that one, that one, and that are all acanthos. That one, that one, and that are senorita buttons. Uh, super awesome. Uh, really, really big coral. I mean, huge, massive. Uh, kind of kind of crazy how big it is. Uh, then we got a bunch of mushrooms chilling over here. Got some awesome ones. If you guys look here, that is a firecracker jawbreaker. Uh, there's a Deadpool, which is really great. Um, got some hammers, you can see, and frog spawns, a diff bunch of different colors. Bunch of blastos, trying to collect all these things. You know, I want to build a collection, so uh, once I get my tank uh, all ready to go, we can, uh, you know, start getting these in there. Bunch of A-cans, you know, I got a lot of these as, you know, single heads or two heads and stuff, and you can see a lot of these things. I got multiple heads on them. Uh, a lot of this is all from LAX Aquarium. If you guys haven't seen them, check it out. Uh, if you're new, I got a code. You can use my youtube name and get 15 percent off for new stuff some uh ghanis back there and here we have some flower rock nems like that one there not good it ended up getting all jacked up thanks appreciate that c sands and andrew yeah the the meat corals are just insane so so insane really really cool Here's a couple plates. Uh, now let's go ahead and switch over to the 20 gallon. This tank has been running for a couple of years and is doing so good. Uh, really stable. Um, things are just going so well in this tank. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these torches. Got lots of torches, really working on collecting the torches. Uh, probably one of the nicest apple scolies I've ever seen. Bleeding apple right there. But, um, yeah. I mean, check these things out. Holy Grail. Uh, let's see. Blue Tip. Sun God. They call this one a butter. Blasto back there in an A-can. I gotta see if I could maybe turn the flow off for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, 
it's doing really good like let's see this that torch right there got that it is a um they call it an orange peel i bought it as a single head and it is now split into three and uh split into three and going into four or five i believe yeah yeah i do I do. That is a holy grail right there. I should have shut the flow off before I started the live so you guys could see the top-down shot. I wonder if I can do that still. I doubt it. Um, I mean, look at that thing right there. Ah, I think I should try to shut the flow off. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I wonder if I could pause this to show you guys. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and acro doing you know doing acros trying out some acros now it's, i need tangs um for the tank you can see there's just algae growing on the plugs which is kind of annoying um and then the same look at that algae growing right there so i need to get some tangs i don't want to take them out of the 120 yeah yeah yellow is insane um but yeah, so that's what I was talking about, the stability. You know, that orange peel was a single splitting into three, four, five heads. You know, it's been in this tank for a while and it's just, you know, I, that makes me happy. <laughs> makes me really happy. Then we got some more Ghanis. Look at these things. Got a rainbow on the bottom. That one right there is a Amaze Balls. Some other ones. New York Knicks torch. You can see that one there. Oh man. Yeah, I, I I know definitely know what you mean. I, I got to get that going. Now I'm gonna show you guys the 120, which has been a disaster. Uh that's why all my corals are over here. Look at this. The cyano in this tank. I had dinos and cyano and it, it ended up bottoming out on me and um oh, it's just been it's just been an absolute pain and i don't want to take these tangs out of here i don't want to stress them out so got to get this thing under control it's a pretty big pain um but hopefully it will and it, it's just been a disaster it's just you know some coral went in here that uh really screwed it over well, no, uh, no, Andrew, it actually, it didn't crash. Uh, my nutrients bottomed out. I had my algae scrubber running too long and it bottomed out the nutrients and it, um, I had, you know, some bad dinos going on and then the cyano took over. Uh, so it, it's just been a pain. It has been a big pain. I got, like I said as well, let's see. I don't know if you can tell on the rock, but there's some little spikes. Those are those vermid snails that took over. It's a disaster. Not my best work, but these are doing super well. Really happy with all of this stuff. I really wish I turned the flow off. I seriously, I mean, yeah, look, look at the, <laughs> we'll do a little step back here. Look at those torches, you guys. Jeez Louise. I love it. I'll check that out. Let's see if I can get a focus. That is a glitter Ganiopora. These ones actually just came in today. These Gani just came in today. That Acro came in today. And those two torches came in today. Yeah, dinos, they're really annoying. Doesn't that happen when... Oops. Sorry, I haven't gone live in a while, so I'm kind of shaky and all that stuff. Let's see, dinos are annoying. Doesn't that happen when there isn't enough left over food or nutrients? Yeah, yeah, when the um, when your nutrients bottom out, so let's say you're cleaning it too much or you're running a scrub, an algae scrubber, you know, nutrient export, and your phosphates and your nitrates bottom out on you, you're going to get dinos and there's actually from what i you know have been told and looking there's three different types and um three different types of dinos so you got to find out which one you have you got to get a microscope i got a microscope to you know look it up under a scope and then have people uh who know more about it give me an idea of of what it was because if you treat it one way and that's not the dino you have it ain't gonna work so <laughs> 
there is that. Uh, let's take a look at the comments. Oops, give me a second here. Come on now, where's the comments? Well, as you can see, there we go. So let's see, Andrew. Saltwater tank keepers have a tank, and it's just as good as a TV in your room. Yep, sure is. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm watching. <laughs> Tangs can eat them, though, right? I have them now trying to get rid of them. Um, as dino, I don't think so. Dino's a bacteria, um, from what I understand. Left side, are you talking about that one right there? Let me know. I'll just kind of sit right here for a minute. Let me know if it's that one right there. Um, dinos is like a bacteria from what I understand. And, uh, tangs won't eat that. I mean, they're going to eat your nuisance algae and things like that. But, um, you know, let's see. So you're talking about bottom left, middle row, bottom left, this this right here I'll kind of go over the torches actually um, just kind of go over what what I got the names and things like that actually um, what's kind of been cool is green and orange well, there's that guy that's green and orange. There's this guy that's green and orange. Uh, or gold, really. Um, so there's there's also a lot of people on Instagram that do, like, um, raffles and things like that. Uh, where you can, you know, buy a couple places and then they do a spin. And I've actually won some corals on, on the raffles there like that. So this one right here in the center, that is... Um, Oh, what did they call it? I forgot the name of what they called it, but that right there is a double header. Won it for just buying a couple spots. What else did I win? Um, uh, let's see if I can get around to it. That middle one right there, I won that one in, in a raffle. I won this in a raffle. Uh, I won that tiger torch in a raffle. So, uh, you know, it pay, it pays off. Uh, I won this glitter Ghani in a raffle. You know, it pays off to do that kind of stuff once in a while. I mean, yeah, you, sometimes you're going to strike out and not get anything, but sometimes you'll get lucky. Oh, man, I just, I'm so upset that I didn't turn the flow off. This would make a huge difference for everybody if I turned that flow off. I wonder, I'm going to see if I could minimize this real quick and pause it. Don't, don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. I did see that. Um, Andrew, are you still there, dude? Um, I did see that. Um, that I did see that video. Coral uh, 12. Um, all right, I'm back. Uh, can someone let me know in the comments if I'm still live? Because I was able to shut the flow off. I just had to go to my Apex app. Okay, and someone let me know if we still live. Are we live? I didn't think it was legal. It's crazy. Their setups are wild. All right, cool, thanks. Yeah, so, okay, so I was able to shut the flow off just to give some real in-depth look at some of these, like, Look at the color on that. I got them sitting in some pretty high par. Look at the color on that. Those guys. Tiger. Oh, I know. The color's just insane. That's that orange peel I was telling you about. That was a single that's now four head or three or four heads. Here, let me go this angle. Get away, get away from that light. That light reflection. There's a Holy Grail. Uh, that's another Holy Grail, New York Knicks. So again, I won that piece. I won that piece. And there's one down here. The Holy Grails, actually, that one I got in 
and it was like sort of splitting and it is two heads now it's still not quite cuttable oh man the re light reflection's kind of a pain yeah this thing is like this thing's probably like five or six heads but it's all conjoined it's not fully it's not all split and stuff so that one's tough look at that bleeding apple though um there are the acros i'm giving a shot at you can see that one's doing super good um i wish see again the light but hey we work with what we got let's see if i could come in at another angle and you guys could get a better look at that holy grail this thing is huge this thing is again multiple heads that's awesome that's awesome I'm glad I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad there's some people tuning in. <laughs> you never know. But um, yeah, so this is really going really good. Uh, I'm really happy with it. You just can't beat that, the flow and all that stuff like that. So now, actually, Andrew, do you keep, if you keep torches, if you haven't seen this yet, definitely look it up. Uh, but there are some dips out there that you can get. Um you want to get some Kypro and some amoxicillin. These are all animal grade stuff. And then some ChemiClean. And there's some dips you can do when you're having poor flesh on your torches. Because obviously you want to have that, that flesh on there. Um, so, like, let's see. This one right there that's in the middle. You can see the flesh growing down the skeleton. Um, it was growing down, but there was a spot that it wasn't, and now it has flesh on it. Frog spawn is my fave. I don't know why I heard about the dips. They're lifesavers. They are lifesavers. Well, there's my frog spawns right there. Got um, one, two, three, four, five of them. Blue tip, like a lime green, yellow, another bluish type tip, and then a purple one or, or a kind of gold purple or something like that yeah my favorites the torches um and i love blastos i just think they're i think they're incredible um they're really really cool so now uh just a real quick uh for those of you who are watching i don't know if any of you guys have looked at lax aquarium a lot of the coral i have is from them um definitely give them a look at uh, their website lxquarium.com uh, if you're new and you haven't bought stuff from them before if you use my name inventory king at checkout there should be a 15% discount for new customers. Uh, again, it's worth it. I mean, like all of these are from them. Buttons go crazy hard. Can't believe the size you got in the tank with tank of buttons. Yeah, man, they can get huge. Like, let's see that one in the back, back right. It's the size of probably that Scully. So these are what one by one by. So, you know, like a little three by three, but it opens up to like 10 inches round. It's, it's insane. Uh, but again, if you go check out their site, and again, if you're new, use Inventory King. They'll give you 15% off you know, a lot of this hammer, hammer, uh, that frog, that frog, that one. I need an upgrade, no question. These, you know, a lot of those Blastos, that is from them. That thing is just awesome. It's getting more color all the time. And again, par's high. The par right up here where these torches are is like 200 something. Um, and I know people who go higher than that. Yeah, I definitely need an upgrade. Like I said, these are just my coral quarantine tanks. I'm, I'm These are here to, you know, make sure there's no pests, uh, no issues like that. And then once I get that tank under control, then we'll start moving them over into that tank. And I've had thoughts about turning this one into a small reef. We'll see what happens, but um, yeah, can't go wrong. This stuff is just incredible. If you guys, uh, I see it looks like five people are watching. If you guys can share it, like it, that'd be great. Haven't been on YouTube in a while, and any of that stuff you guys do helps the analytics. Who knows, maybe it'll start getting me shared again. Like, look at that holy grail right there, the green and the gold. Boom. So incredible. Uh, I do have Instagram. Um, it's just Inventory King. Um, you'll see my face on there with the Seahawks hat or something like that. Yeah, yeah, just just type in Inventory King on Instagram. You'll find me. You'll find me. 
So, anywho, all right. Well, it's been 20 minutes. Haven't done this in a long time. Thank you, you guys, for tuning in and taking a look at this. Um, hopefully, some others. Will, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the repost. Hopefully, some others will take a peek at it and see what they think. Um, but yeah, look look at that right there. Look at all that algae on that on that disc right there. It's just uh, I gotta get some. I gotta get tangs, but I don't want to wait for tangs to go through quarantine because I quarantine them because tangs are so notorious for getting sick. Blah blah blah. I don't want to pull those ones out. Uh, so I gotta get some tangs in these tanks to help with the algae control, and then you know, just go, go from there. So, Hey, you guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll talk to you guys soon. And, uh, I'm going to put this up on a repost. Thank you. Bite the bullet, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I just, I mean, I'll do it, but I don't want them to sit in quarantine for a month. Like I let them sit in quarantine for a month, uh, minimum on tangs. I just, I think that's the best practice to do with them. And, you know, if I find somebody who's had a tank for years in their tank, <laughs> yeah, crazy. We're a crazy bunch of people. Impatient in a patience game. That couldn't be more true, man. Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. All right. We'll catch you guys later.